It's Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Osprey Daylight Sling, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, click subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. In the updated version of the Osprey Daylight Sling, they have changed a few things, all of which I really like. So starting off with, we have now, we have some recycled materials. And let me just check my notes. We've got 150D recycled polyester for the main materials, 600D recycled polyester for the accent, and 600D recycled polyester on the bottom. So you've got sort of the sturdier fabric here, and then um, this sort of, it's got a ripstop design on it. I haven't had the chance to need to use it, but um, it's nice that it's there. Also changed, we still have the Osprey logo here, but we now have a little daylight on the bottom, which is nice if somebody's admiring your pack and you can just tell them what it is. Around the pack, we have good hardware. We've got Osprey on the zipper pulls. Ooh, let's see if it focuses. There we go. Um, they're YKK zippers, and I did find them a little stiff. They're getting better with use. And I have to say, I'd rather them be a little stiff so that they don't accidentally open than too loose. So it's just one of those, they're just a little slower around the corners. It's not a deal breaker. And like I said, I think as you used it, they, it's like they needed a little break in period or something. I don't know. Then flipping around here, the buckle on the shoulder strap is a Wujin plastic buckle, and it's nice and sort of tucked away here. And then I could not find any uh, branding on this swivel hook, which is the only other hardware, but I have to say it's awesome that it's here because you will see now we have two uh, attachment loops on the back here, and it's because you can now switch sides with the strap. And you can see how easy that is to move. So if you're a lefty, if you're a righty, if just one shoulder gets uh, sore and you want to switch it, you have options. So that's really awesome. And then the only other thing to mention here, oh yes, we have Osprey here on the shoulder strap, but also there's a little sort of carry handle here. It's really great for hanging it up on a hook and that's pretty much what you're gonna use it for. For a sling, this, this bag really has a very nice and capable harness system. We have some really great breathable mesh back here in sort of a diamondy shaped pattern. Same, and it's, you can see it just sort of goes all the way around on the shoulder strap, which is very nicely padded, as is the back of the bag, so that you can't you can, but you, you feel less what you have packed in here. It makes it very comfortable no matter how long you're carrying it. I mean, I, I carried this through an entire mini golf game. I carried it through grocery shopping, all the way walking to the library and everything. It's, it's really comfortable, especially because you can switch it. Um, and then the only other thing to mention here on the shoulder strap is um, we have this little mesh pocket where you can stick keys if you want, although there is another place inside for those, but also like cards, if you have like a transit card or your hotel key card, uh, or just you wanna slide in some hand sanitizer or lip balm, it's great for that. This sling is best worn on your back. You can see it's pretty much designed for that. I was able to, you know, I put it on my front when I had a big travel backpack. And so just, but it's, it's just not really meant to be worn that way. Although you can easily swing it around to get at your gear. And since the zippers go all the way around, it's very easy to open while it's still on your body. While I have this around though, I will show you, it, there is a strap keeper, but it's very um, inflexible. It's just a little piece of webbing. So you can't shove more lengths in there. And I have this sort of tighter because I'm a smaller user. And so there is a little bit of a dangling strap going on here, but it's not a huge issue. Also the strap, as you take it on and off and on and off, it can get a little loose, but it's really easy to tighten and I don't find it happening that fast 
to be a problem. So this six liter sling has two different places where you can store your gear. So we're gonna start, start with the front compartment. It opens in this nice horseshoe shape. So like I said, depending on which shoulder you are carrying it on, I really like wearing it on my left shoulder the most. Not quite sure why, it's just the most comfortable for me. So I'm really appreciative of the ability now to do that. And so no matter which side you're carrying it on, it makes it easy to open with this horseshoe zipper going around uh, the whole top. Inside, it's just a sort of a big open compartment. Got my phone, sunglasses, I think I have my AirPods down there too. So there's no extra organization or anything, but it's just really great for the things that you want very quickly. Although it's not like it's gonna be really slow to get into the main compartment as I will show you next. So as with the front compartment, the main compartment also opens uh, around the top, sort of in this, I'm calling it a little rainbow uh, zipper because it goes all the way around, but not quite, not to the bottom. So uh, it has the two sided zippers, which is good because then depending on which way you have this facing up, you can just have the opening on either side or you can just open just a little bit and grab one thing out if you need it. But I'm going to show you the entire opening because you can see it's a nice wide opening there. So I have put in a water bottle here, which I will set aside and a little pouch just for, you know, uh, to carry other things, but there is some organization going on here. Against the back here, we have a little slip pocket where you can put, I've got a Kindle here, and so smaller tablets would fit here. I don't know about um, a full-size iPad. Oh, no, I do know. A full-size iPad doesn't fit here or whatnot, but like I said, Kindle, Nintendo Switch, also just a notebook those all fit nicely there, or you can just use it to hold other small gear. Then along the front though, is a great place for other small gear because we have this mesh zippered pocket, which inside we have a key ring, um, the red plastic Osprey key clip, works fine, it's good, gets the job done. And then I just have a few other toiletries I slid in there. And so it's really nice to just keep things from falling to the bottom because, you know, you can see it, but it, things can get a little lost down there. It's just the nature of the beast. But with the two organizational options, it's a lot easier. Now I will point out if you have too many things in this mesh pocket here, you can see you just got to wiggle things around in order to put something larger like a water bottle in. But just sort of slide them to the side, put it in, and it's fine. It's not as quick as if you didn't have things in the mesh pocket, but you might as well make use of the mesh pocket, in my opinion, because it's just easier to find what you need. So with, you know, with the comfortability of this sling and with, you know, the, its ability to carry just sort of like the daily essentials, but just have them on hand, find it a great travel companion, a great shopping companion. Pretty much it will get the job done if you just need to uh, carry a few little extra items with you. So there you have it, the Osprey Daylight Sling. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.